Hey, what's up, Micro Church? I hope you guys are doing great and having a fantastic week uh, so far this week. We are actually starting a new uh, series uh, where we're going to be looking at what it means to be a Christ follower and what it looks like for us as followers of the way, right? Followers of Jesus Christ to be called out by Jesus and to follow him. And so, uh, this week, we're going to be in Luke chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. So if you want to go ahead and open up your Bibles and go there. But as you are, uh, I mean, growing up a boy, a, a, a guy was, was kind of different, right? Uh, girls, I'm not saying it's not for y'all either. Uh, but for, for guys, you know, we grow up, we start out as little boys. We like to do little boy things. We like to get our hands dirty, play in the mud, pick up creatures, bring them inside, freak mom out, all that kind of stuff, right? But then something changes. Okay, we start to notice girls, and we start to notice how cute they are and, and become attracted to them. And uh, as, a, as a little kid, we don't know how to handle that. And so what we do is we try to make fun of them and inflict pain on them uh, and different things like that as a way of showing them that we kind of like them. And, and girls don't get it. I have two girls myself, and they're like, I don't get it, Dad. I don't know what's going on. But then we get a little bit older and what we start doing is we, we start pursuing them, right? We do different things to go after them and to pursue them. Uh, whenever I started dating my wife, I would buy her flowers. I'd take her out to eat, buy her gifts, uh, spend a lot of money on her, trying to win her and woo her, right? And, and show her how much I loved her and how much I care for her. Uh, I'd write her letters and talk to her on the phone and, and all of this stuff. And we would do whatever was necessary and whatever it is that we needed to do uh, to be with her, right? To win her. Uh, I pursued her. See, every single one of us, uh, we have the opportunity to pursue something or to pursue someone. And so the question is, what is it, right? What are you chasing after? What are you following? What are you pursuing? Who are you following, right? What is it that you really want in this life? That's a question that we all have to eventually answer. And that's a question that Jesus asks of every single one of us. Who are you following? And so over the course of the next several weeks, uh, we're going to be talking about this question and what it looks like to be a follower of Jesus, what it looks like to be called by Christ. Uh, and in 2 Timothy 1 verse 9, he says, He has saved us and called us to a holy life. Not because of anything that we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. And this grace has been given to us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. But in Luke chapter 9, uh, our, our passage for this morning, or for today, uh, it says this in verse 23. It says, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. And I think of a lot of us, we might read this passage and think, cool, you know, no big deal. He's not really calling me uh, to do that, right? That's not what Jesus really wants from me. Jesus loves me and I love him and, and he accepts me as I am. He doesn't want me to deny myself. He doesn't want me to die to myself. He, he doesn't want me to be uncomfortable, right? That's, that's kind of our mentality of when it comes to Jesus. In fact, we think that Jesus wants us to be comfortable. Uh, but here's the thing. If that is our view of Jesus, and that is our view of what we think Jesus wants from us, then you and I are worshiping two different Jesuses. Uh, Jesus, right? Uh, he doesn't call us to something um, minimal, Right? He doesn't call us to something comfortable. Jesus calls us to something greater. He calls us to something more. In fact, he calls us to himself. If we read that again in, in Luke chapter 9, it says, If anyone would come after me, right? If anyone would pursue me, they need to deny themselves. They need to take up their cross and follow him. Right, these are these are hard things for us to, to grasp, right? Hard things for us to swallow. Uh, but this is what it means to follow Jesus. It means that we are to deny ourselves. See, when you make the decision to follow Jesus, it means that you're making a decision to walk away from something else and to deny it. Uh, and, and in the case of the denial of self, right? We're denying our own selfish desires. We're not, we're not saying that I'm not uh, good or I'm not... Uh, valuable or anything like that. What we're saying is, 
I want to deny my desires, my, my sinful desires, my selfish desires to pursue Jesus Christ, right? Uh, uh, we're, we're denying the things that we want uh, that might bring us some satisfaction or, or whatever. It's, it's choosing Jesus over the things of this world. That's what it really is. It's choosing Jesus over our families, choosing Jesus over money, over getting drunk and partying over sex and looking at pornography. Uh, it's choosing Jesus over our freedom, the things that we have the right to do, uh, but we're saying, I choose Jesus instead. Uh, and so when you choose to follow Jesus, you're making a decision every single day to deny yourself right? No matter what the cost is. And we can do this if we truly believe that Jesus is who he says he is, as we've been talking about, that the promises in the Bible are as rewarding as they say that they are. The second thing that it means to follow Jesus is to take up our cross, right? That's, that's a really hard statement, again, for us to grasp. The cross was this, this instrument of torture, right? Of humiliation, of suffering, of, of pain and death and it was the instrument Jesus used in the crucifixion of Jesus, right? Uh, and, and so when we think of the cross, right, we, we're like, man, I don't want to take that up. I don't want to bear that. Uh, so not only are we to deny ourselves, we're to, we're to die to ourselves. And that's what that means when we take up our cross. We're to die to ourselves on a daily basis. We're to die to our own desires. We're to die to our own pursuits. We're to die to our own plans, our own comforts and to submit ourselves over to Jesus, right? Dying to ourselves on a daily basis is not an easy thing to do. It's, it's one of the hardest things about following Jesus, but it's only by dying to ourselves that we're truly able to follow Jesus. Jesus goes on to say in, in uh, Luke 9, 23, actually verse 24, for whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for my sake, for me, for Jesus will save it. What Jesus is telling us here is that when we truly die to ourselves, right, we lose our life for his sake, we'll find life. And when we let go of our own lives, Christ begins to live inside of us. And this is why Paul wrote in Galatians 2.20, he said, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. Right? When you and I die to ourselves on a daily basis, Jesus Christ lives in us and he lives through us. Right? This is one of the greatest paradoxes in all of Scripture. It doesn't make sense, but taking up our cross on a daily basis actually leads us to really living. But how do we do this? Right? How do we follow Jesus? Right? We, we, first, we commit to believing. Right? We believe that Jesus is who he says he is. We believe that he's worth giving up everything for. Do you believe that he is going to do what he says he's going to do, that he's going to come and he's going to restore all things and make all things new. See, we can't go to Jesus and say, let me pick what I want to believe and I'll give you some of myself, right? That's not how it works. We commit to believe in all of who he says he is and all of what his word says, and we submit ourselves to it. The second thing we do is we commit to obey, right? To follow Jesus is to obey Jesus, to do what he says, Right, to deny ourselves and to take up our cross and to follow him. To love God with everything that we are. To love God with everything that we have. Right, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. To go and make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. Right, the gospel of Jesus Christ is more than just reflection. Right, it requires a response from us. It requires obedience to him and to his word. So to put it simply... Right, to trust and obey really is the way. It's the only way. And see, at the very beginning of Luke chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus says, whoever, right, or, or some translations say, if anyone, uh, this call that Jesus gives here in this passage is to follow him, right? It's for anyone. It's for whoever so believes it. It's for whoever wants to pursue him, whoever wants to believe in him, whoever wants to take up their cross and follow him. Man, there are no stipulations. Right? There are no prerequisites, no qualifications that we have to have or that we have to meet. It is really for anyone who wants to follow him. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what sins you've committed. Your sin is not too big for God. Right? He calls us, 
His call is for anyone to follow him. Anyone can follow, but not without having to give up everything. But he is worth it. Man, I hope you guys have a great time in your discussion groups talking about what it means and what it looks like to really follow Jesus. And I want you to ask yourselves this question, what am I not giving up to truly follow him? Y'all have a great week.